an exciting new product to show you today. This is a brand new split type HD camera, and this is the Beta 65X HD. Yes, a 65 millimeter 2S whoop with an HD camera, and it's this one right here. Um, you use this as your analog FPV camera, and it also records high definition video to an onboard DVR. As you probably know, there have been a handful of HD cameras like this in the past, and they keep getting smaller and lighter, which is great. And this one comes in at less than 7 grams, making it the lightest and smallest one yet. So small that it easily fits inside the 65 millimeter whoop. Uh, so that's pretty amazing. This is definitely the smallest HD recording drone that I have, and I will be interested to see how it performs. Beta FPV recommends this drone to be flown mostly indoors or where there's no wind, uh, but it was a beautiful evening and there was very little wind, so I took this out to the park. The light was shining through the trees, and so I thought that would give the camera a good test as well. Although it was a little bit eerie being at the playground on such a beautiful day. There were no kids anywhere on the playground structures. Uh, you may be able to see the yellow costume tape on there and that's because the playgrounds in my area have been closed for a while already uh, because of the coronavirus and now we're under a stay-at-home order so it's lucky I got this footage when I did. I'll share a few more thoughts with you about this drone and camera at the end of the video but first here's the flight footage so you can see for yourself what it looks like in motion. <laughs> Well, that was pretty cool, but I think this is going to be even more fun to fly inside the house because this can fit through even the smallest gaps uh, like you would expect from a 65 millimeter whoop. So let me tell you a little bit more about the camera and then the drone. This mounts with silicon grommets and it's 26 by 26 millimeter mounting. So this goes right on top of a whoop style flight controller, meaning that you could put this into any whoop or toothpick style build. Here you can see the camera up close. It does have a case, uh, but no screw holes in the side. So this has to be held by the canopy or by some other mount and everything else wires up through these six header pins right here. Uh, here is the pin layout. A question that always comes up with these split type cameras is latency, and I do not have the numbers on that. I don't know what the actual latency is. I can just tell you what I feel. And in terms of feel, it really didn't bother me on this. Uh, there is a little bit of latency. It doesn't feel quite as connected as flying a good analog camera. Uh, but it was acceptable and it certainly wasn't any worse than other split type cameras like this that I've flown in the past. Now mine was a pre-production sample and it did not come with a remote like this for adjusting the camera settings, but I expect that the final product will and this does work. And here's the drone up close, uh, but again mine is a pre-production sample and so the final one will probably look a little bit different. For one thing this canopy is actually painted blue, but I expect that the final one will have a blue plastic material. You can see the canopy is attached on two points, it attaches to the frame, which means that there are separate screws inside for the stack. It is running 2S with two BT 2.0 connectors. I was running batteries like these. The motors are 0802, 14,000 kV, so that's also a new kV option for these motors. 
The frame is a black version of the Meteor 65 frame, um, and that's pretty cool. I thought at first they might use the 65X frame since they call this the 65X HD. Uh, the 65X frame had two batteries that went side by side like this, and the problem with that is that the batteries would actually block a lot of airflow. What they've done here is they've provided this 3D printed attachment that just goes inside. And so when the batteries are in place, it looks something like this, and it's actually pretty snug, so that works pretty well. If I pop the canopy, you can see how the DVR board is mounted on top of the flight controller. The SD card is here, and there's a slot in the canopy for that. If you want to build something like this for yourself, I do want to point out that these screws are pretty unusual. They look a lot like regular Whoop screws, but they're a lot longer because they have to go through two boards before going into the plastic. You can also see this red wire right here, and that's because this flight controller has a built-in receiver. I'm using FR Sky, and normally that's not a problem for whoops, although on this one, I was getting pretty short range. I think it might be getting interference from some of these other electronics. This is gonna be inside the canopy, but I would recommend that you make sure that it's heading upward and away from everything else, and that will help. But enough about the specs. You're probably wondering, how does the world's lightest HD whoop actually perform? And to that, I would say that these 14,000 kV motors on 2S actually do give it quite a bit of power, um, but it's also carrying quite a bit of weight. This is the lightest HD camera in its class, but it's still quite a bit of weight to carry on these tiny props. If you want to do any really big acro moves, that's when you're going to really start to feel the weight. Um, if that's how you want to fly, I would definitely recommend you swap these parts onto a 75 millimeter frame with 40 millimeter props. Those larger props uh, would be quieter, they'd probably be more efficient, and they would definitely provide a more stable platform for this camera. You can see I've already got a spare one of these cameras, and so I'm planning to put this one onto a Shutterbug 85. Some of you may have seen my video when I put the Cadex Turtle 2 onto a Shutterbug 85, and that was pretty cool, uh, but this is going to be so much lighter, I'm looking forward to seeing how that performs. So there you have it. This is the lightest FPV camera that records high definition video and the smallest and lightest HD drone on the market today. If you are interested in either of these or you just want to see the full specs, then check down in the video description. I'll have my links down there and you can go to the official product pages. And if this information has been helpful to you, then I am glad. That is the whole reason why I make these videos. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, then like and subscribe. I've actually got a bunch of video projects queued up. And now that I'm stuck in my house for a while, I might actually get time to edit some of those and put those up. So if you see more flight footage in the future, it's probably stuff that I already recorded. Uh, but I've got some interesting things coming up. So stick around and I will see you next time.